in the U.S., they're starting to ship all these, or for a few years now, they've been shipping these RFID-based credit cards. And the idea, it turns out, um, even though they say it's to make secure credit cards, the actual reason is to speed up the line at Starbucks and in taxi cabs and things to make it faster to do the transaction because you don't have to print something out and have people sign it and all that. The idea is you can just wave your wallet over the reader and you've paid. And, um, you know, they've been deploying these things for a few years now. And when we first got them, we just thought, well, you know, they must have encrypted the credit card information. There's probably one key for the whole system. That's how a lot of the other RFID systems, like transit systems, are. Um, there's one key for the entire system. And so we figured if we could just, you know, crack that key, um, which we might need to do on a cluster or something, um, or, you know, we do a lot of crypto cracking on FPGAs and things. And so it's a way of, you know, um, cracking the system and getting the key. So we thought we would do that for the credit card system. And anyway, so we bought a bunch of RFID gear on the internet. Um, one of the things we got was this, you know, normal pay pass reader, like you'd see at Starbucks. Uh, we got it off eBay for $8. And, um, you know, we hooked it up to a computer. We started scanning cards and it turns out it just spits out <laughs> your credit card information on the serial port. So um, there was no crypto at all. And, uh, you know, it was baffling to us, you know, how they thought this was going to be more secure because, you know, the old fashioned way I had to at least get your credit card out of your pocket before I could steal it. Now I could just get near your pocket and I can steal it. It's, you know, companies don't like it, but um, it's good for everyone, this little war of escalation between hackers and, and everyone else because it means things gradually do get secure uh, and gradually get more secure. It means that we have a shorter window of opportunity for you know, those criminals that we were talking about earlier to take advantage of, of any of these security problems because we find them and they get patched more quickly. Now, the credit card industry has done a lot to try and indemnify you against fraud. So if I steal your money or you steal your credit card and use it, technically it's, uh, you know, it's not your problem. Visa will give you your money back or whatever. Well, you, know, you have to do a lot of paperwork and shit <laughs> to get your money back. You, know, you may not want to deal with that. Um, I don't know, you know, I'm not trying to decide if it's a problem for you or anyone else. You can decide once you have the facts. And so, yeah, it's, I think it's really important. And also just, you know, how disingenuous these industries are. You know, they're lying to you. I mean, they're lying by saying, here's a secure new credit card. There's no way you could interpret that as secure. <laughs> There's nothing about it that's more secure. Um, so I feel like that's... Uh, you know, that's disingenuous and that they should be called on that. Um, for more, for more, you know, and the reason I show that one is not that I think people are stealing your credit card by, by, you know, swiping your ass with a reader at Starbucks. That's not, you know, that's, that's probably not happening because there's a lot easier ways to steal credit card numbers. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's one that people can relate to because they carry credit cards and that kind of thing, and it's a problem they don't know about um, or a potential problem. For a lot of the problems that hackers find, they're deeply esoteric. You know, they're, they're really complex and they're, you know, changing a zero to a one behind the scenes somewhere. It doesn't, it doesn't make for good television. <laughs> and so, um, you know, those, pro those are, you know, a lot of the real problems look more like that. And, you know, you, you can't get them on the news, but you can, um, you know, report them to the vendors, try to get them to fix them. Um, you can alert their users so that people can decide for themselves if, um, if, their, if their threat model is, um, you know, such that they want to do something about that. You know, if you know the stuff you're using is insecure, you can decide for yourself if you want to go get something more secure.